Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing of BoxyCharm. As you guys can see, I set it up a little bit different today. Um, as you would normally would know, I always like to make my choice selection. However, I missed 2020 May's um, selection. Um, so I did not select anything that's in this box and I did not select anything for June's box. I totally missed out on that date. But however, I will let you know what I got in this box. Um, I did not receive the little card, so it doesn't I don't have um, uh, the prices or the box or the variation that I received. I'm so sorry. Um, but as you guys can see, I did receive this Skin & Co. Um, Truffle Eye Therapy. This one retails for $66. I saw this one in Ulta. This one is by Pure Heels. Um, this is a ampule. I don't know what it is. Centella, 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 I don't know. Um, I haven't heard of this. Um, and this one, I think that I saw it for $22. The price varied. Um, I couldn't really look at um, the exact um, website for it, but I know that they sell it at different um, stores or online stores. I did receive this natural Too Faced um, natural palette. Um, this one retails for $38. I found it at Sephora. This one is the Sugar Rush um, Lip Butter Butter Balm and Fioni Fioni Fioni. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I don't know how I feel about these because you have to open it up and then put it on. Um, I'll give it a go. Pretty good. I think this one retails for twelve dollars. Then I have this Milk um, Makeup Lip and Cheek Oil Tint. I think I'm saying it correctly. And I got it in the color Flare. Um, this is a pretty color. It's, it looks red, but it's more of a corally pink. I'll give it a go. I'll see how well this works for me just because I do have oily skin. And I don't know how well it will um, work with my matte foundation if it will pull tug or remove it while I apply this I'll definitely play around and see how I feel about it I did um, swatch it it feels pretty good pretty matte it it's it's pigmented um, from what I noticed it is pigmented and the last thing that I see and this one retails for $15 and the last one that I item that I received is by KVD and this is their 12 hour um 24 hour super brow pomade long wear pomade and i got in dark brown which i like because i will be able to use this and this one retails for 20 dollars at sephora so as you guys know that the premium box retails or the total value of it has to be 175 or over which is most of the time is really over if i calculate what i got here in my box it did not hit the mark of 175 i think it's roughly around 173 or maybe less just because of this product here that i could not really find a definite um price point for this some of this um online stores were selling it for 17 dollars. some of them were selling it for 12 for 21 for 22 um so i wasn't really sure how much this one's this real telling um the retail value of it um overall I was pleased for my with my box um, I did receive products that I would normally do use on a daily basis like an eyeshadow palette something for my lips for my brows um, products for my skin when I um, exfoliate and wash and cleanse my skin um, overall I'm pleased I'm not super happy just because of the hype that BoxyCharm um, premium has received since it launched getting high-end products and always hitting that mark up there that even at least you get two three products and you're like okay you know what I don't mind I did um, pay $35 for this box relatively almost $40 with taxes um, this month I think that I was you know, I'm 50-50, not super disappointed, but also not super excited for my box. Um, even though I did not select anything and I would have been more surprised because I did not see any spoilers. I didn't know what's going to happen in this box. Um, and I just want, genuinely want to be surprised from now on. Um, and most of these products are not hit or miss. I 
I I haven't tried these two right here. I have tried the, the line of KVD and I do like some of their products. So I'm excited for this one. I have tried the milk products, especially those um those makeup blurring sticks. I've tried them. I have to play around with it in order for me to really like how it um applies on my skin but i have tried it and i'm generally okay with it i love tarts so i know that this is gonna be a huge win for me and um Too faced um natural the the palette i have a lot of things for Too faced that i really do enjoy and they're very scented really good um and i will definitely get a use out of this one um so overall like i said i am happy um, for my box i'm not super excited for it and i feel that um boxy charm did hit a miss a little bit on this box just because of the variation and the products in the in the, the box um i know that with the COVID 19 happening around and maybe some of the products were um placed around moved around i don't know i'm so happy that i did receive my box i did receive it late and i knew i was going to be late just because of the shipment and the precautions with covid and also i did let it, my box sit for two days before i opened it and and disinfected it before i brought it inside so relax about that everything's okay um but yeah i mean overall i'm i'm okay with the box and i am i'm hope that you guys can comment of these products if you guys know how to use this one to really let me know um is it like a leave-in oil like do i put it on and wash it off i definitely have to try it but if you guys have tried it already and know a best way to try it and put it on let me know i don't know i don't think it's a u.s product from what i can tell no it's a korean product so i know that korean products are really good from what i can tell um or reviews that i've started um you know looking into korean products so thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think you guys have my box what do you guys let me 